Okay, well, let's start weaving. The first step is warping. This is how we're going to make the structural strings for the weave. So here we'll tie on to the leg of the chair, a simple slip knot you can use for that, or any knot will do. So now we'll start the warping. The most important thing with the warping is you're going to be wanting to do a figure eight of the strings. So I'm going to be changing colors already since I only need two gray for the borders. So I'll simply break one off and attach the other. Okay, now we'll continue with our figure eight. one. There's the little preview of our band. Okay, let's insert the leasing sticks. Move it to the side. Take off the warp. This is a short one, so maybe I don't have the tie, but it up. I'll do it anyway to show you. You can do it either way. I usually do a loop. And then we're basically going to crochet it up. I will keep them nice and organized. And then, lacing sticks, release. Now we are ready to pull it through our rigid head on. Okay, now we'll cut the end of the warp. and start pulling the strings through the rigid heddle. I'm gonna use a reed hook, cause it's faster, but if you don't have one of those, no problem. You can simply use the Gold Old Live One Finger Trick, but it's gonna take you a lot longer. So, first one is through the hole, cause it's the first one. Next one, we'll go through the slot. Okay. Next one, as you can see, where it crosses. The third one, okay, turquoise. And it's through the hole. All right, so now we're going to gather the ends so we can tie them all together. Okay, now that we have the ends together, we'll make a simple overhand knot. We can also release our leasing sticks Okay, so here I just have a um, fabric scrap. Um, you could use a cord, a belt, a rope, anything really. And I will just make a simple attachment here. So now I'm gonna tie it to something stationary. I have a big pole in my room. You may have a doorknob. You may have a desk side just as long as you can have a little tension on it. Secure the other side in a knot. We'll bring the heddle towards us and you may see some strings crossing. This we will tug to release. Put it down as much as we can. Okay, so now we can do our overhand knot on this side. So we're going to do the same thing as we did to attach to the stationary object. 
and so this side of the loom will be attached to you and you can do this many different ways but this is low tech so it's assuming that you don't have anything else around your house except your rigid heavily your strings and some fabric scraps so i'm going to tuck it through my belt secure it with just the same way i tie my shoelaces and now i can begin weaving So to begin the weave, we're going to use um, another material. I just again happen to have this one hanging around so we can even the strings out. You can also use pieces of wood, cardboard, anything. So we have inserted it into the first shed and now we're going to pull it up and you'll see the strings cross. We'll continue to weave the beginning until we get our desired band width. I think we're good to start. I will load up my shuttle. Okay, so now we can begin weaving with our weft. Cross the strings to open up the new shed. Insert, pull through, weave a small tail, push down, Always you'll see if you're on the right shed because the strings will cross. Okay, now I will insert the tail and bring through the next shed, which pulls up. Bring the tail in again. And that should be fine for the tail. And we just continue pulling up, pulling down, inserting the weft, and weave. And the best thing about backstrap weaving is you can do it anywhere. While you're cooking. While you're watching videos about weaving. Or while weaving. While vacuuming. You can also multitask with other weavings. So when you need to advance, you simply, in the low-tech way, since we don't have a band lock in this video, we'll just simply tie it under our belt and continue weaving. So we've come to the end of our weft here. To start a new weft, we will simply put it in and start with a new one and continue to weave. After we can simply cut off the extra tail. We're pretty much at the end here. Can't go much further. So we're ready to cut it off. And that's exactly what you do. So now we're just gonna finish our band off by um, tying the ends. There's many ways of doing this. I'm going to do twisted ends, taking a couple of strings, twisting them in the same direction, and then putting them together and twisting in the opposite. Here's our, uh, our band, amongst others that have been woven with um, backstrap rigid heddle looms offered by Harvest Looms. So I hope this helped you to get started weaving bands, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below.